What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we're going to be talking about the third experimental snapshot for the 1.18 update and it features some new world generation tweaks and also some tweaks to the mob spawning mechanics that they changed in the last snapshot. They've also recognized that they still have a lot of performance issues, some issues with the nether, and some issues in the end as well. And those things are all gonna be nailed down before they start releasing regular snapshots. So for the time being, we just get these experimental snapshots that you can download from Mojang's website. Before I forget, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We cover all things Minecraft, including new updates, mods, mega bases, SMPs, and so much more. So stick around and check out the rest of our content. Let's jump in to today's video. So to test out the new world generation, I loaded up a creative world and just flew around for quite a while to see everything that had changed or what had stayed the same. Obviously, there's still a lot of microbiomes and there is some crazy world generation. As you can see here, I'm in a shadow savannah and there are just floating islands and a lot going on it's definitely very cool looking but will it stay this way for the actual release i'm really not sure but there is definitely a lot of interesting things happening in this new world generation so let's talk about the tweaks that mojang released in this new snapshot uh, first off they tweaked the biome placement so that there was no risk of temperature clashes you're no longer going to find uh, you know, snowy biomes or ice pillars right next to a desert or in the middle of a desert. They still happen sometimes, but it's really not as often anymore, and they just kind of wanted to make it a little more realistic. Uh, they also tweaked the biome placement to make it uh, allow for a lot more diversity, which as you can see here, there's definitely a lot of diversity in all the biome placements. I'm finding a lot of jungles, a lot of dark oak forest, and a lot more. They've also, as you probably saw in the intro of this video, added red sand again. They had to tweak the badlands so that they actually spawned flatter areas which had red sand, which we weren't finding in the previous snapshots. Honestly, in my opinion, I was finding a little too much red sand, so they will probably tweak that back a slight bit just so you get a lot more badlands spawning uh, with less of the red sand. They've also added the addition of aquifers that can go deeper and are more likely to connect with caves. So anytime I spotted an aquifer, I went ahead and dove right in and tried to find if there was a cave with air pockets below it. Unfortunately, this seems to be a pretty rare occurrence because I did not find too many of them. I think I found maybe one or two, but I did actually end up coming out on the other side of mountains a lot of the times that I was trying this, especially in this clip here. I came out on the complete opposite side of this huge mountain. So now let's talk about one of the biggest changes in this week's snapshot and that is actually the mob spawning mechanics that they have changed. Uh, in this snapshot they have actually changed the mob spawning so that they no longer spawn more in lower terrain or slower in higher terrain. It's now flat spawning rates no matter what Y level you're at and it's very similar to the spawn rates in the 1.17 update at Y64. Uh, this is actually a huge change to Minecraft because it changes a lot of the way that uh, Minecraft mob farms work and how we're going to operate them in the future. This really isn't that great of a change in my opinion because you're supposed to find more mobs when you go into caves or lower down and especially if they're going to be adding the deep dark in future updates or later in this update, you're going to want to find more mobs there because it's supposed to be a scary place. Of course, this is just an experimental snapshot and it's subject to change at any point. So hopefully it does change back and they figure out how to stop the congregation of mobs in complete dark zones. Now that mobs only spawn at the light level of zero, which I do think is a great addition for builds, but there does need to be some tweaks so that they don't congregate as much and you still find more mobs when you go lower and less mobs when you go higher. Taking a break from mob spawning generation, let's actually look around at this world right here. There is so much going on. There was floating islands of just the snow biome forest above that hill right there. And then right here we go right into a lush cave which looks absolutely incredible. This was actually one of the best caves that I found while touring around in this world. And it's great seeing all the new blocks and things in the actual lush cave biome. Cave exploration in the new 1.18 update is going to be very interesting and very new. It's definitely going to be a fresh look at how we mine and cave in Minecraft 
because things like this look absolutely insane. And especially in a lush cave, you're not going to find a lot of mobs considering all the glow berries and things like that are going to actually reduce the mob spawning there. So those are actually going to be one of the safer caves in the new update and it's definitely going to be very interesting to see how it all plays out. Finding diamonds in the new update is definitely going to be completely different. The developers really want players to explore and go through all these caves. So of course you're going to want to do that to find diamonds, but also diamond air exposure is pretty low and the further you go down, the more you're actually going to find. So it's going to be very interesting to see the best places to find diamonds in the new update. And we'll probably do a video of that when the actual update comes out. I'm definitely very excited to explore caves like this and to see all the aquifers and the new biomes in these caves. We have dripstone on the right and lush caves on the left, and it just looks incredibly cool. They also made some changes to the pillager and villager uh, spawning. So as you can see here, this is a very cool villager spawn because it is right in the middle of this mountain. I think this is actually one of the cooler villages I found, but I did find some very cool ones in the last snapshot as well. Pillager outposts will now spawn in the mountain biomes as well, which should look insanely cool having a pillager outpost right on top of a huge mountain. There is also a completely new mountain biome in this snapshot and that is the Stony Peaks, which is a variant of the lofty and snow-capped peaks that they released before, but this one uses stone and gravel instead and they use this uh, to actually avoid the temperature clashes that we talked about earlier, such as snow-capped peaks sticking up from a jungle. So now instead of that, you're going to find just a regular Stony Peaks inside of a jungle or just a massive hill with the jungle. Here we can ask, actually see one of the uh, changes that I talked about earlier, which was the addition of red sand again. But as you can tell, there is much less of the Badland Mountains now. So I think they're probably going to tweak that back and try to find a better balance because right now it seems to be a lot of red sand and pretty much none of the Terracotta Mountains. Overall, I am really enjoying the new world generation in this uh, new snapshot. There are definitely some tweaks that have to be fixed, but they have a long time to do that, and they will definitely be fixing some of them before the real snapshots even start coming out. I'm definitely very excited to see the new world generation be finalized later this year, and I'm hoping that once the real snapshots start coming out, they start releasing some of the snapshots with the warden and some of the new mobs that they're going to be including in the new update. Skulk sensors are definitely going to be extremely fun to play around with, and I'm very excited to see the first snapshots of those. It has been extremely fun finding all these oddities in Minecraft, such as this right here, which is a Badlands terracotta biome mixed with a just regular mountain biome, I think. Not too sure what is going on here, but it looks extremely cool, and honestly, if that was in the new update, I wouldn't really be that mad about it. Right here, we have a weird kind of partial jungle inside of a regular forest, and it immediately moves into a dark oak biome on top of this incredible mountain. All in all, this world generation is insanely cool and I'm definitely excited for this new update. Let me know what you guys think of this new update and world generation in the comments down below. I'm very excited to see what you guys think about it and especially what you guys think of the new mob spawning mechanics. So let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.